Seth Rogen denies reports Emma Watson walked off the set of This Is The End. Ant Middleton makes Chris Morgan comparison and vows to never change. And Kendall Jenner granted restraining order against man police says wants to kill her. Hey guys, my name is Eva and you're welcome to CVG. So yes, now let's get right to the gist. Seth Rogen has cleared up the notion that Emma Watson actually stormed out of the set of the movie This Is The End and he said that it misrepresents what actually happened. Now this comes after he, you know, appeared to have admitted that she actually did storm out the set of the movie. But he went back on Twitter to say that she did not storm off the set but rather she decided to exempt herself and it was not a decision she made by herself. It was a decision they made together because that particular scene was not what they agreed on. It was something that was improvised. Yes, it was not like according to the script. So they just wanted to, you know, do something different. So they decided to change up the scene a little bit. Now that scene was a cannibalism scene and she said she doesn't want to be part of it. So yes, they agreed that she wasn't going to be part of that scene. So she exempted herself. And he said that people saying that she is uncool or unprofessional because of what she did is really, really bullshit. Like it's total bullshit. He went on to say that he was really thrilled for the opportunity to have worked with Emma Watson and will be thrilled if they actually did another work together and he was sorry of how everything played out and he wishes that he could have done something to prevent what happened. Okay, so in my opinion, ba, I don't know Emma Watson per se, but I feel like Emma Watson is not really that kind of person that would be unprofessional. So like he said, they agreed on something and they breached on the agreement and she said, you know what, look, this is not what we agreed on. And I'm not okay with whatever you guys are doing because I didn't agree with it to start with. So yes, I'm going to exempt myself. And now she didn't do it on her own. They had a consensus. So people should not come and say that Emma Watson is unprofessional or cool because she decided to exempt herself from that situation. Okay, so moving on to the next, speaking on the Diary of a CEO podcast, Aunt Middleton said that even though he was counted from the Channel 4, you know, television station, many doors have opened up for him. Yeah, and a lot of production companies are actually lining up to, you know, get him to come to their production companies. He also compared himself to Piers Morgan, you know, Piers Morgan after leaving the GMB show, got a lot of, you know, calls from different other stations to come and join their station. Like, so he compared himself to that. You know, this entire Piers Morgan thing, let me know if you want go back to that. Let me just continue with the gist, right? So, Aunt Middleton told us that he left Channel 4 before they even told him to leave and that he had a fallout with some of the crew members um, because of, you know, the fashion for he was. But, Channel 4 is saying something totally different. Now, Channel 4 said that they decided not to renew his contract because of his personal life outside of, you know, the show. So, we are wondering now who is telling the truth. Now, I don't want to be judgmental, but He's friends with Piers Morgan, so I mean, do I have to say more? Let me just, you know, move on to the last but not the least gist. So, Kendall Jenner has been granted a restraining order against the man who the police claimed wanted to shoot her and shoot himself. Yeah, I know you guys are wondering like, Exactly my reaction when I heard like somebody wanted to shoot Kendall and also shoot himself. Now the suspect Malik Boka is presently in a psychiatric hospital, he has an LA psychiatric hospital and he will soon be released. Now Kendall is saying that she's scared that even though she has not met him in person before but she's terrified you know that he will soon be let out and then after he's left out he will still come back for her. So brings me to you know ask the question why why would he want to just you know purchase a gun and shoot her but like, what's the reason what's the motive behind this well I, I understand where Kendall is coming from I don't know how I feel about the fact that somebody wants to shoot me and is presently on hold but will soon be released now do I feel safe is a question of course I cannot feel safe when a shooter is in the open is the outside so hopefully she's protected in Jesus name Alright, that's all I have for you guys on CVGs today, but do not forget guys, you can keep this conversation alive, tell us what to do.
about everything I've just said, you know from top to bottom, you can do this by following us on our social media platforms, Kamaboy.tv on Instagram, Kamaboy Official on Facebook, Kamaboy TV NG on Twitter, and on YouTube for you so guys, Kamaboy TV. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see what I've been up to lately, you can follow me on Instagram at Eva. Until next time, ciao guys.